Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of This Week in New Tech. The 2016 Best Robotics Competition is underway, and our students are working very hard to produce a winner. Also, New Tech's makerspace has been completely overhauled, along with a few changes made. Let's go see what's up. I'm joined here with Junior Marcelo Torre. So Marcelo, for those who don't know, what is robotics? So robotics is like a subsidiary program of Makerspace. And first, Makerspace is like an open workshop where people can come in and they have free access to tools and stuff and they can build whatever they want. But uh, robotics specifically is like an after school club focused around the best robotics competition. And we get a bunch of people together and we design a robot to compete in the robotics competition, you know, to represent new tech. That sounds like so much fun. Okay, what have you learned from robotics? So I joined robotics my freshman year of high school, and before that, I had no like I had I didn't know how to use any power tools. Um, I mean, I didn't know how to use like any tools properly. And then I mean, after three years of coming here, I, I know how to use everything in the Hack Shack, and I'm also the head of engineering now. So. Wow, that is amazing. Thank you so much for letting me interview you today, Marcelo. Thank you. I'm here with Evan Siles. He's a junior here at Belton New Tech. He's also part of the robotics team. So, Evan, what are you in charge of on the robotics team? Uh, I'm in charge of the programming team, mm -hmm. and the programming team handles anything software related with robotics. So how do you think you're all going to do this year? Well, compared to last year, we have a better strategy and we're more organized, and I think that's going to really help us going into the competition. So compared to your first year, freshman year, what traits and how do you think it has benefited you since then? Well, I've had a lot of time to learn from other people programming on the robotics team, and I've also had a lot of time to work on my own programming skills, mm -hmm. and I think that they have improved a lot since the beginning of freshman year. Okay, well, thank you very much, Evan. Hi, I'm joined here today with Mr. Mistrelli and Mr. Dyer. So, Mr. Dyer, what exactly is Makerspace? Makerspace is an area where students can come in a collaborative effort to learn to use tools, work with those tools, and create something with their hands. Awesome. Okay, Mr. Mistrelli, what is the connection between robotics and makerspace? So robotics is a almost a subpart of makerspace. Makerspace can be looked at as almost a parent company with robotics being a club within that. So students can come use those same tools, but now they're using um, robotics um, as another avenue to compete in a school activity. Cool beans. Okay, so Mr. Dyer, I understand that y'all both allow students to use dangerous tools. How do you know that the students are ready to take on those, these tools? That's a great question. What we do is we have levels in Makerspace where students actually have to earn what level they're moving up to by demonstrating the ability to work with those tools before they can move up to the next level and use those tools unsupervised. Yeah, basically what Mr. Dyer said, and we have um, very quick ways of looking to see where students are at. Um, they have a tool board where they actually do all these uh, little tests for it to level up, and um, they can we can say, can we see your tool board, or, um, and they'll show us where they've done a series of steps to show us um, their completion of different levels. I'm here with Brandon Garcia today. He's a junior here at Belton New Tech. He's also part of the robotics team. So Brandon, being part of robotics is a pretty big group. What do you, how do you keep things organized? So in robotics, which is a part of makerspace, there are different divisions because for the competition, there are several different things that are being judged. So there's engineering notebook, which outlines everything we do for robotics. There's engineering, which works on the actual robot. There's programming, they make the robot move on the day of. There's marketing, which I'm in charge of. And marketing makes sure, makes sure that um, the robotics team looks good, that we have sponsors. There's spirit and booth, which are both responsible for making the team look good at, at the day of the competition. and. So we have all of these separated into teams so that each team can focus on, se on several different tasks at a time. Uh -huh. And then we also have a scrum board, which we started last year and worked out really well, which we're going to use again this year, where we can actually list down our tasks in one column. Then when we're working on them, we move them to the working on column. And then we move them to the done column once we're completed so that we know we have everything we need to do completed. It's kind of like some, some teachers use Trello in that way, too. Mm -hmm. So this year in robotics, what are you most excited for? I'm personally excited for the marketing presentation because it will be very nerve-wracking for me. Uh -huh. However, we did awesome last year, and we came in 
like fourth place, I want to say, out of like 20 schools, which I'm very proud of myself for that and everyone else who works with me. Yeah. Um, and this year, I think we can I think we can make it and we can place. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've already started prepping for that and making sure we get there. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much, Brandon. Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching another groovy episode of This Week at New Tech. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to check out our website at mynewtech.org. And we'll see you guys next week.